In this video, we're going to be talking about what is a capacitor and explaining it in your AC system. Let's do it. Mechanics for non-mechanics. All right, so let's look at a capacitor real quick. This is what it would look like in the store. Okay, this says 30 plus 5. So there's two sides, again, on most capacitors. They're, that's called a dual run capacitor. So dual is two, okay? So there's two sides to it. Um, and you always wanna, if you do get a capacitor, make sure you match it up 370 to 440 VAC, or it might just say 370 on there. Um, and, but this is the big thing. Make sure the size is the same, 30 plus five. So let's open this up. So this is what, um, kind of what a capacitor is going to look like. It might look a little different, um, but you see for the two sides, it'll have two variables, okay? So 30 plus five, or it'll say 30 slash five. So what you have is the 30, the larger number, is always going to account for the compressor side, okay? and or what's called the hermetic side h-e-r-m herm and the smaller side is going to be the fan side okay so you see up here we have hermetic herm so the herm goes to the compressor and then the fan goes to the fan the outside fan okay and then the common side is c so common takes care of both of these okay so um a lot of times, this is not always the case, but a lot of times the common will have four terminals and the hermetic will have three terminals and the fan will have two terminals. Anytime you take a capacitor out, if you do change it, make sure you take a picture of where all the wires are going, okay? But if you forgot to do that, then potentially you can look at and see, okay, well this one, because sometimes these letters will be scratched off or, or rusted through and you won't be able to tell which one is which. Well, a tip can be the hermetic side has three terminals, the common has four, and the fan has two. But that's not always the case. Sometimes they'll all have four or all have three or something. This is what helps turn on your um, compressor outside and your fan outside in a lot of cases. Although, like I said, sometimes your fan will actually they won't re won't require a capacitor hey, if this video has been helpful at all go ahead and take a quick second hit that like button and subscribe it helps us reach a larger audience with these helpful videos uh, as well as hit the bell for notifications so we can let you know about all of our videos let's get back into it this can also help turn on your fan inside unless again it doesn't require a capacitor the fan doesn't require a capacitor now you may also have a capacitor with two terminals on it Okay, for the fan. So this would be a fan terminal and a and a common terminal. Although it might not, it won't necessarily say anything on here. But this just has two terminals. See, this one has three. This one's got two. So this one is just you see 7.5, and that that uh, symbol there is for micro. Okay, so microfarads. That's how capacitors are measured in microfarads okay i don't recommend you changing these things yourself okay um, i'm just giving you an idea of of how it works now if you if you are going to touch these terminals which i do not recommend you doing unless you're a trained hvac professional but if you are going to touch these terminals okay make sure to touch your screwdriver, make sure the power's off, okay? Touch your screwdriver from the terminal, the metal terminal, to the back, to this metal backing. You have to ground out each side, okay? So going from one to the other, just touch them to the back and then touch them to each other, okay? You wanna make sure because those things hold a charge. So it's possible that the power could be off, but that thing still has a charge and will shock you, okay? So if you change, if you change this or, or 
test it. Make sure, I don't recommend it, but if you do, make sure to touch your metal screwdriver and don't hold, don't touch the metal, of course, when you're testing this. You wanna to touch the insulation part. Make sure the power's off, okay. Touch the metal part of the screwdriver to the back uh, metal part of the AC unit and then to each other just get if there's a charge in there that way it will um, not shock you and that's happened before to me trust me where I put it right here and you'll see a spark so you don't want that to happen to your finger so again I do not recommend you change these out okay uh, call somebody to do it but if you do if you are going to do it just make sure when you turn the power off okay that you take your screwdriver and put and hit you know touch the back of the back of that metal cabinet with this um, screwdriver on both all of these terminals okay so that if it's holding a charge you're not going to get shocked and i've done it before it's no fun you can pay a couple hundred bucks get the job done by a reputable HVAC comp company you know or you can get yourself in a lot of trouble I mean you can your heart can stop you know that thing can send an elect electric shock and make your heart stop so please be careful okay so this is my multimeter okay I have a uh, we'll, we'll put a link in the description section or something similar I will put uh, I have a measuring here for MFD okay so that's microfarads now if you don't you'll have to check of course if you don't have that particular one on your multimeter um, you'd have to ch check how to even uh, measure this but so this is measured in microfarads okay 7.5 okay you can see measured in microfarads 7.5 and it says there's six percent tolerance Okay, plus or minus six percent so it shouldn't be six you know it, can, it can't be more than six percent difference higher or lower okay so if we put our multimeter on the two terminals one and two we look we see it says 7.7 7. okay so that's within the the uh, six percent if it was say five then that capacitor should be replaced okay now here's another one now this is what we were talking about with this one has one common and then it has a hermetic over here which is for the compressor and then the fan over here okay so we're gonna go from common to fan and and we see that it's 30 plus 5 so we have 5 microfarads on the fan side 30 on the compressor side so if we touch from uh, common to fan, we get five microfarads. So we know, I mean, this is brand new, so it should, should be good. But anyway, this is just how you check it. Okay, and then if you check from common to hermetic, sorry, it's tough to do this while holding the camera. Common to hermetic, you get 30.5, okay, which again is within that 6% tolerance. So that's how we would know that the capacitor is good. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, let us know in the comments section if you have any questions or what you want for future videos. And uh, we'll respond to those. And we'll see you in the next video.